Well, tonight, the city of Chickasaw is actively trying to break away from Pritchard Water and take control of the infrastructure in Chickasaw for the city's water supply. Chickasaw is forced right now to use Pritchard Water, which has well-documented problems, including massive leaks and lack of water pressure. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey joins us now. Andrea, Chickasaw's mayor says twice now they've offered to buy the infrastructure. That's right, Kim, and twice Pritchard Water has said no, but Chickasaw says it will continue with its efforts to take control. When I come here and go try to turn my water so I can take a shower, ain't no water. Last month, people in Chickasaw had to deal with a water outage, and firefighters in Pritchard couldn't put out this house fire because there was no water pressure. Officials blame both incidents on Pritchard Water's crumbling infrastructure. The water system is, is an ailing system. Chickasaw's mayor, Barry Broadhead, says there are fire hydrants like this one that don't work, and some that appear to be more than 100 years old in the city. Broadhead says the city's paying Pritchard Water almost $100,000 annually for 200 fire hydrants to work properly. But we're currently not getting those fire hydrants inspected. So when my firefighters pull up, to a fire hydrant. They don't know if the pressure that's on that that unit is going to be uh, proper to fight the fire. Broadhead says the city wants to use one million dollars in COVID relief funds to purchase all of the water supply infrastructure in Chickasaw and either manage its own water system or have another entity like Moss take over. Broadhead says they'll keep pressing the issue until they're successful. We do not want a crisis. And so investing in that infrastructure is something that, that we can do or another entity can do, but it, it needs to happen and it needs to happen now. Broadhead says another issue, Chickasaw has no representation on the Pritchard Water Board. And he also says Chickasaw will be testing the hydrants in the city to see if Pritchard Water is in compliance with a 2019 court settlement. Kim?